Hey guys and girls, let's talk about a bait that's really not fished that much anymore, but it's a bait that we just absolutely caught thousands of fish on over the years, and to be honest with you, I don't fish it that much as I used to, and it's a tube. A tube is just a little short uh, plastic, soft plastic bait that's hollow on the inside, or at least most of them are hollow on the inside. Sometimes you can get them that's got a little, little solid top to them for Texas rigging, and the rest of them are hollow all the way down. But just a little hollow tube bait like this, it just made a little stuck tube, got a lot of tails on it. And we, these baits got famous by fishing, catching fish off beds. I mean, this is what we did. We used tubes on beds back in the early days, and this is about all we used. I mean, everybody would pretty much use a tube on bed, and we had a lot of different ways to do them. We could actually take a tube, <laughs> this is a great little trick, we could actually take a tube and take a little piece of Alka-Seltzer and stick up inside of the tube. Just stick it right up inside the tube, and so we put it down on a bed, and that Alka-Seltzer would start dissolving, and you know what Alka-Seltzer does, it dissolves, and the bubbles would come up and everything, and it would really create a lot of strikes. So that's a little trick you can think about. But I want to show you four or five different ways to rig a tube that can catch fish and talk a little bit about how I fish them because a tube is still a dynamite bait. One of the easiest and simplest ways to rig a tube, of course, is just to rig it Texas style. And I've got just a regular hook on here. This is a, a, a Daiichi hook. And I've got just a little small slip sinker. We've been using a lot of really, really small slip sinkers lately because we're fishing a lot of grass. And you're going to fish a lot of grass, use the smallest slip sinker you can get away with. You're better off using a little bit heavier worm and a lighter slip sinker. That way you can kind of stay on top of that grass and so it doesn't go down in it. You really don't want it going down in it if you've got a lot of grass. And a lot of, there's a lot of slime on the water right now early in the year. That slime will go away a little bit later on. But, uh, but you've got, uh, you, so we're using a small slip sinker. Now you can just rig it regular Texas style. There's one thing you want to think about when you're rigging Texas style is you're going to always want to leave the point or that eye of that hook out of, the, out of the tube. You don't want that down in the tube, you want it out of the tube. So what I want to do is I'm going to start out and I'm just going to come in a tube like we're doing right here. And I'm going to come over and just, just, just in just a little bit. And I'm going to come around, regular Texas style, I'm going to come around here and turn it. Now, when I turn it, if you notice, I leave the eye out of the hook, out of the, out of the tube. It's on the outside of the tube. Now I'm going to come back here where it's laying in. It's laying right in the back of this. So I'm going to come and scrunch that tube up. I'm going to stick straight through, all the way through, all the way through that tube, and come out on the other side. Now you see where I am right now? I'm out on the other side. Now, the eye of the hook needs to be on the outside, like it is right here. That way you're not going to tear your tube up real badly. And it doesn't matter that it's hollow inside. It doesn't matter at all. And you want to come up here and just lay that up there. And now that hook is going to hang, so I'm just going to come in and just skin hook the point a little bit. Now that makes that perfectly weedless. See, may I bring my finger over it right there? That's perfectly weedless. Now, that is a Texas rig tube, and that's a great way to fish them. There's nothing in the world wrong with fishing them that way. That's the perfect way to fix them, fish them. Now, you can make that hook and everything, the sinker and the weight, a whole lot more indiscreet if you want. One of the ways is you simply buy a, a hook that's made for tubes. I mean, a jig that's made for tubes. I bought this one at Bass Pro Shop. I got a lot of them. And uh, the, the eye of the, of the jig hook comes up straight up generally. It can come up the front a little bit, but it comes up at an angle usually. And what we're going to do is we're going to put this down inside of a tube. So we're going to take our tube right here, and we're going to actually kind of work that down in, and this is going to be inside of the tube. And now you're, you're better off if you've got some sort of a scent or oily spray, spray some scent or oil on there. It makes it slide up in there a lot easier. You might just want to wet it and make it slide up in. Now, as you slide it up, because the eye of that hook is up, you see it makes this little bitty hump on here. So you want to kind of turn it and push it where you don't want to let that eye get in there and, and hang. Push it all the way up inside of that. Now, you see what we've got here? Now we've got the weight inside of it, and we've got the hook on the outside. Now, this is not a, a weedless situation like my Texas rig was. It's not weedless at all. But you've got this here, and you've got a really indiscreet deal. You can then push down on that, or a lot of times I'll take my little outdoor edge knife, make a little slit right there. Now, then you're going to tie to this right here. So, and that now you've got a very indiscreet situation right there. You're tying the, the weight is completely inside of your hook, and that's a great. That's just a regular tube jig head. You can buy those at Bass Pro Shop. Go over there where they got the hooks, jigs. Buy that, and you're in good shape. Now, the only thing is. The only thing is, this is not weedless. This is weedless. This is for fishing areas that don't have many weeds. So you can't really fish that in, in areas that's, that's weed. That, uh, now you can use just about any kind of, this is just a little shaky head right here. You can do the same thing with a shaky head. If you want, just stick that inside 
And I see I used a little light one on there. That went up in there pretty easy. And now I'm going to come over here, and you can push down on that, or I just, again, I take my little knife and find the eye of that hook, wherever that eye is. Make a little slit there with my knife where I can stick that out through there and then tie to that. So then you've got a little indiscreet situation there, and that's just a shaky head. That's all it is. That's a shaky head down inside of there. That's a little lighter weight. You can use whatever size weight you want, and that's, that's a real good situation right there. Now, another rig that I want to show you and talk about here is this is a good one for the grass, too. And this is a really, really good situation. This is a Tokyo rig. Yeah, that's right, a Tokyo rig. A Tokyo rig has the weight coming off a little piece of wire, and it hangs down, and you put a, put a weight on there. Now, this one's got, had the weight already come on it. I think I had some Tokyo rigs laying here in the boat I was using. This is some Tokyo rigs that somebody sent me. And uh, this Tokyo rig right here, you got the weight on the bottom. And I come up here, and you're just going to put a hook of some sort on here and then tie your line right here. So, in other words, you've got the weight straight down on the bottom and your hook, just like this situation right here. This is one that I've used quite a bit. And so you got the hooks down on the bottom. And again, this is a great situation for the grass. It's a good grass bait right here. And you're going to have your line tied on coming off out here. Now, you want to do the same thing with this. And we'll go over here and use a pretty good-sized tube on this. You want to do the same thing. We're going to rig it Texas-style and skin hook it. Exact same situation. We're going to come in, come around, and we're going to leave the eye of the hook out. You see what I'm doing? I'm going to leave the eye of the hook out, just like I did on the other rig. I'm going to come around and put that, again, straight through, all the way through that tube. And you can see it's all the way through. Now, if you want, you see that laying down on there, and I don't even have that skin hooked. You see how that is? The way that hook bends down, I don't even have a skin hook. And yet, if it pushed down on it at all, a fish is going to get hooked. But I can bring my hand over there, so I probably wouldn't even bother with skin hooking that. Now, that is a Tokyo rig. So your line's up here, it's going to be up like this, your weight's on the bottom, and you're dragging your tube back behind it, like this. Now there's three really good ways to rig it, you know, Texas rig, a Tokyo rig, uh, or a, uh, or, you, know, you can use a little tube, with small tubes on a drop shot also, works real good on a drop shot rig. I don't have one rigged right here, but the drop shot rig is real good. But let me tell you, let me tell you when I'm fishing a tube, here's one of the th reasons that you fish a tube this time of the year. A lot of the fish, a lot of the fish are through spawning. And when they spawn, they will generally move out and they will suspend around something. They suspend in treetops, maybe five, six, seven, eight foot deep. They suspend around boat docks, they suspend. So what I will do in working a tube is I'll throw that tube out there by a tree or at, by the edge of the boat dock and I'll let it drop maybe two or three feet and then I'll pick up and stop it. And then let it drop, pick up and stop it, pick up and stop it. Now I'm letting it drop straight down. All I'm doing is just stopping. All I'm, as it's falling, I'm stopping. Fall, stop, fall, stop. And that's a great way to catch suspended fish. A tube is just one of those baits that catches suspended fish really, really good. Now, we're catching fish on tubes, fish in a lot of places nowadays. Fish them just like a plastic worm. Fish them just like you do anything else, except it's a little bit different bait than they're used to seeing because, quite honestly, a tube is becoming one of those old-fashioned baits that not too many people fish with. So try a tube out there this year, and I promise you, right now, we are smoking them on a tube. They're biting the tube really, really good. And uh, they'll bite them all summer. As the year goes on, they bite them better. As those fish suspend around trees and underneath boat docks, a tube is one of those dynamite little baits to get them. All those little tails and a little low profile, it's just absolutely dynamite. Fish them just like you do any other soft plastic, but I promise you, you're gonna have some luck catching a lot of fish on a tube. Rig them any way you wanna rig them. Those are some of the best ways that I rig them. Guys and girls, Go out there and have you a great one. Kiss a few for me, and remember, I sure do love you.